Let me quick check. I'm yours. taking it right here on the computer. You got it. Perfect. I'm used to doing it for other people. Yeah. Yeah, they're all working. Okay. July twenty two minutes. Charlotte, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. I'm not uh, but I'm exhausted. We had company all week, okay. and I just didn't have the energy to speak, so I have to apologize to everybody. How are you doing, Tom? Nobody's what, tonight. What are you doing, guys? How are you, Bernie? EH guest? Is that what I guess so. I'll have it for you in a second here. Come on. Okay. Okay, we are live. I'm good. I'm not good. I'm exhausted. We had company all week. Okay. Yeah. I just. I have a feeling of deja vu. We are live. <clears throat> okay. Call to order. Okay, I'll do a roll call. All right, we have Charlotte Gelston, we have Bernie Gillis, we have Susan Pagnano, we have Gary Wilson, we have Tom Delventhal, we have Marilyn Gleason, and we have Rob Smith. John said he might be a little late. So we don't, all right, so John Olin is, <clears throat> so we, we don't need any alternate appointments. So next is approval of the agenda for, um, Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Any discussion? No. Any amendments to the agenda? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approval of conservation <clears throat> minutes from August 3rd. <clears throat> Um, moves to approve as presented. Need a second? No, no, I have some corrections. Well, first we have to approve them as presented. Come back and excuse me? Needed a second. As presented. <clears throat> you want to approve the minutes? As presented. And then you then we have a discussion to make any amendments. Okay. So Gary seconded. So any discussion, any amendments to the Yeah, I'd like to make some corrections. Okay. Page one. Item five, section four. Wendy McNeil is uh, is spelled wrong. Okay. It's M A C, and Wendy has an I on it. M A C and Wendy McNeil. W E N D I. Is that is that how it's spelled? Wendy with an I, yeah. Okay. And McNeil M A C. And instead of children, a group of children, I would say. Uh, youth? Uh, yeah, either youth or uh, high school students. Oh, they were high school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And item six on that sa same page on okay. item five. Chapel is, uh, Mr. Chapel is oh. spelled E-L-L. -L. You're right. Okay, thank <clears throat> you. Anything else? Well, the next page, Wendy spelled wrong again. And uh, Charlotte's name on item 11 is spelled wrong, too. Oh, right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, uh, boy. Last page, item X, XI. Okay. Water, water tanks at Petrel. Uh, just a spelling. Uh, second line later in the year. You have yar. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing the yar. Yar. That's like right, sailor yeah. talk. Yeah, that's a, okay. I figured that's where that okay. came from. <laughs> Motion to approve the minutes as amended. Oh, wait, anybody else have any changes? So you're all set with Charlotte's Yeah, I, I, I didn't realize he was referencing a different place. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I, you, I need a motion to approve the minutes as amended. So, that, that, so Tom, and I need a second. Second. 
I'll take Susan since she has it. She needs buzzers. Any discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? <coughs> I, I have to abstain since I wasn't You're here. You're abstaining. Right? Okay, <laughs> Charlotte. Abstain. Thank you. Okay, old business subcommittee updates, stewardship and forestry management, Mr. Gillis. Oh, um, well, I went out to Petrel on the 7th of uh, August and uh, per uh, recommendation from Ralph Chapel, there were three trees down on the yellow trail and I cleared those cleared those. Um, on the 10th, we were at Lefebvre. Uh, that was with you, Marilyn. Yeah. Uh, we walked that site and she mapped it, uh, getting ready for uh, making the maps for Lefebvre. Uh, she's made amendments since then, uh, slight changes that we might want to discuss, I don't know, later or now or? No, it's good. good. Did you? Um, so we we walked the hmm? red and the blue trail. Right. And uh, Marilyn and Rob went out there and they thought that it would be beneficial to cut a white trail down off the, the blue trail down to uh, where the parking lot is that goes over to the overlook. So um, that's been flagged. We had flagged it previously, I thought. No, we tried to, but it, it was real wet. Okay. It was going to be a difficult crossing. Oh. So uh, we kind of tabled that. Okay. And, uh, but I guess you guys think that it's uh, beneficial to put that in. So. so one of the early concepts <clears throat> was that all these uh, areas of open space would connect. So the, the, uh, obviously the Hop Yard, Lefebvre, and Burnham Brook. So putting a spur down there right at the, where you access uh, the hop yard made sense. So yeah. You'll need a small bridge over the brook there, but that's a very simple one to put in. More along the lines of a bog bridge or? No, I mean, you know, it can, you could build it like a bog bridge, but it's just, a, you're only going to be a couple of feet above the water, maybe two and a half feet, but uh, it's, uh, it's only about 10, 12 feet, so. Okay. And yeah, it wasn't really that wet. It was just that one little just hop that over. just the stream crossing was the only wet spot. So obviously, well, it'll be interesting to see after the rain event we just had uh, how much water came off that hill. Uh, but yeah, we can move forward with that. That that uh, that water is generated completely <laughs> on what the heck's their name uh, Delventhal there and. Uh, <laughs> you know, so it doesn't have a lot of chance to uh, get a lot of extra water. It crosses the road? Yeah, it goes under the road just <clears> by Tom's <throat> house and then comes down. So, But it is running right now, and the driver was running pretty good that day. But Yeah, uh, the goats are fluttered. The area that, that we're yeah. looking at is, uh -huh. um, the area that we're looking at has a fair amount of uh, space for additional flow. So yeah. if you just anchored it there, I think you'd be fine. Okay. But anyway, take a look at it. Do you have any thoughts on that water coming off that hill, um, Tom? Did the road wash out? Uh, no, it goes under. The, it, it, it flows really easily yeah, through okay. there, so I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, and I don't know how this is going to compare to two years ago. I, I heard that two years ago was the fourth wettest summer on history, and it seems comparable this year, and it still is pretty orderly Good. coming down through that ridge. The only other thing uh, you guys noted that you like a little bypass around the wall or expand yeah, I, just, I, I remember there was two openings in the t there's two walls there and I just took advantage of the existing openings which are about 10 feet wide there's no you know it's an old barway so yeah so you wouldn't have to be climbing over a wall that's all so is that the, the when the blue trail sort of hooks back and around is that what you're well there's about? a stone wall there and it's a slight cut through it that we yeah. That we walked so through. Literally went 50 feet more, and there's a bar away there. So that was yeah. it, 50 feet, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you could 
you could he we tagged it. I mean we put flags up. From your email, I got the impression it was either or or. Yeah, you, <clears throat> I mean you're not. We're not saying you have to do it, or you mm. could either have it as an alternate route through, or you could have it. You could well, I mean you it. want to make these maps, so we have we should move forward with this. Yeah, so I want you to decide what you want to do with yeah. it. Yeah, thanks for that. It's your call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've always found it rather than have people try and climb up over the wall, if you could have a nice opening to take advantage of. Yeah, no, John and I were out there, and we looked at it, and we thought it'd be a, an hour project just moving some of the rocks and opening up the hole. But if, if it's just 50 feet. Yeah, and then it actually goes across, and, you know, we just... I didn't spend a lot of time routing it, but uh, yeah. uh, it's got a little zig in it, but it there's another opening in the next wall that goes through, and then it yeah. comes right back. So. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get that done soon so that we can get those maps printed. Yeah, because I'm all ready to do them. So, um, yeah. And then we, we did go through an adventure walk on the, uh, on the, um, the wetlands there, <laughs> on that whole Oh, right, section. yeah. That yeah. was quite... Well, you said I could kick that can down the road. Yes, so, but yeah. it's something we should talk about for the future um, to put a trail in there. But that would be a much, that would be probably down the road, I would think. Well, I would put it way down the road. Yeah, because uh, have to get the, the reality is the only practical way is on the uh, to be on the east side, southeast side would be uh -huh. to go into uh, Burn Brook and go uh -huh. around the wetlands. Yeah. And, there's a nice high area once you get far on the far east boundary, but uh, then to come back through, there's one small area you can probably connect through pretty easily to get back almost at the junction where the red and blue meet. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's that little narrow section of the wetlands yeah. that you could probably cross, but, but the rest uh, of it was... It's not practical pretty. unless we can go through the Burnham Brook, so we're going to have to talk to Dave Gumbart, and we want to talk to him anyway about the connecting trail down to Burnham Brook. So. Yeah, I mean, John and I went out there. And uh, that's the same day we looked at that stone wall. And we actually crossed into Burnham Brook. And that's, that's a really um, doable thing. I mean, did you, there's, every 10 feet there's like these huge stone, I don't know if it's a Virginia fence or, or what, that goes down the hill. So it could be. I mean, uh, some of the trail there, it's on the south side. I don't know what, is that the red trail or the blue trail? That's red. Red. All right, so that goes right along, uh, right along the boundary, right between the blocking stones where there's a Virginia rail fence. So. Yeah, this is right at the end of the red trail where it turns to the right and heads. It goes over the edge? Heads west, yeah. If you go straight, there's um, these huge, uh, out, you know, big stands of... Uh, of rocks, and they go down the hill all the uh, way. Was, are they do they zigzag? A little bit, yeah. Well, they, that probably was a Virginia split rail fence. Then. And uh, and then there's this big, uh, what do you call those erratics? Oh, glacial, yeah, at the bottom. And the brook's right there, and you cross over, and it, it's Burnham Brook. It's uh, yeah. So that's Burnham Brook you're crossing, and then there's one of the trails comes right down. And curves off the, the existing Goodwin, not, excuse me, not Goodwin Trail, the trail in Burnham Brook comes down and curves, takes a 90 degree turn and goes west rather than cross. But the road, there's a, that woods road that it was following there, went across Burnham Brook and then went into that area. Yeah. Uh, kind of disappears there. So my point is that it's really doable. Oh, so yeah, that. because I flagged out a trail you, last fall, I think, or. Uh, we looked for your flags. I didn't I see I didn't put any. a lot of them there, but. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, there he is. So yeah, but uh, they, you know, because I curved it up that so it wouldn't be as steep as steep a path, and curved it around and brought it up near the top. Yeah. So, John, we're talking about the uh, our little trip from Lefebvre down to Burnham Brook. Nice. Yeah, and how that's doable. Uh, very beautiful combination of two large. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, I guess that's enough on that. Uh, I went out to Hatch, uh, spent three hours on a couple of large trees on the Blue Trail. Um, and so what day was that? What day? Yeah. Uh, the 16th of August. And then uh, 
Gary, John, and Tom, and I put up the kiosk at uh, Lefebvre, so there's a kiosk in place now, uh, so we can uh, move ahead with signage there. Um, Ralph Chapel mentioned to me about trees at uh, Rose Farm on the 29th of August. I went to cover the white and the yellow trail, and there were a uh, couple of big trees down there. Uh, Susan and I went out on the 9th, the uh, 6th of uh, <clears throat> September. <laughs> Thank you. Then we started putting up her pink tags for... Uh, oh, good. I was going to ask about this. Yeah. The breast cancer, I think. Breast Care Awareness Month. We did uh, Sabine and Chagru. And they're, um, they're on two of the trails. I'm not going to say what, which ones. It's okay. a secret right now. <laughs> and uh, today I was out at Hatch, and I had three trees on the... Uh, uh, blue and green trail that uh, I had to get back to and finally took care of. And that's about it. Okay. So, um, let's see. So I wanted to pass out uh, Urbanic Reserve History. Oh, wonderful. Um, and uh, it says, you know, that draft. Thank you. Which does not have the, uh, it says the white trail over there. Right. Well, it's not the map, it's just the structure part. Oh, great. Okay, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, I do, I do have one. I have one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, Thank you. Oh, did I give you extra? extra? No, well, that's, that's the one you mailed me. Uh, right, let me take that down. Oh, okay. Well, that's, I have, you have the correction. Map. Oh, you have, well, I corrected it already. Okay. Um, so I just wanted you to see what I've come up with so far um, for the brochure part of it, the the folder the and um, for the history for Urbanic, which comes from mostly comes from Julie Urbanic's blog. I got permission from her to use the picture, and so it's going to be much bigger. So. I know the picture looks kind of small on little, her little map. Her little map is her um, her memory of what it looked like when she was small and she used to go there. So I didn't know what you thought of it. I gave it to you, Bernie. Oh, yeah. Um, you never got back to me. No, I know. I, I thought we'd talk um, tonight. Um, so you made all the corrections? I think so. Yeah, okay. No, I thought it was good. Um, I would uh, change the wording in one thing. Yeah. Is there a better word? I'm trying to find the thesaurus here, but it's not working. But uh, is there a better word for moving military family and raised in a moving engineer family? That's her, that's her <clears throat> quote, isn't it? Is that her quote? Oh, that's a quote. That's her quote. That's a quote from her. It's in quotes. Oh, I guess I can't. Can't change that. it. No, okay. <laughs> Rural character, I guess. Um, no, I thought it was good. Um, do we want to give the Eagle Scouts credit in terms of their names? I'm trying to find out what their names are. I well, I could give. Eth I didn't want to just put Ethan. If right. I could yeah. Put no, the I understand that. Um, I'll have to reach out to Shannon. I don't know if we have a record of who the other Eagle Scout was for Urbanic that did the, the I don't trail. know, but I had a whole list, or I got a whole list of all the Eagle Scouts, so someone should be able to tell which. All right, so if we can get them, I think it would be nice to put their names. Did you find another Gara? Yeah, it's uh, 
the tenth line down in the area of the urbanic. Okay, you can give that back back to me when you're reading it. I might have corrected it already. Yeah. Know. Okay. Thank you. If anybody finds anything, any other proofreading errors, let me know. Um, and if we, if we're we're going to be adding the white trail, so there's plenty of room in here for me to make the font smaller in the trail facts section of this. It's this very short trail, so it'll just show that it connects to Devil's Hop Yard to the, where you could just cross the road and get up to the summit there. It looks great. And then once we finish the map, I can send that out so people can see it. Yeah, little um, some letters missing from the word in the person. What's that? Uh, the first paragraph, and the area. Yeah, yeah that's what Bernie showed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just got that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have 72 Jones Hill Road. Is that because we're going to start doing the. Uh... Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Um, we decided it would be, might be nice to put under the title there on the far right column. Um, we, we're just going to assign it a number so that people can do GPS it uh, on their phones and maybe get there. Yeah, no, that sounds... This is the first time you've done this? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was Rob's idea. Well, so. it's not... We discussed this two or three years ago, actually, and uh, I think when we, we just kept redoing the maps, we forgot about it. Too. Yeah, so, yeah. Because that was recommended... Quite some time ago, so. Yeah, and the maps got reprinted. I'll start adding. I'll add that back in. I'll add yeah. that under the title. But we'll have to make up a number because they don't really have a number for the property. There's not really a number assigned really? to it. Some yeah. do. Well, some might because they've been created by you know, on Google Maps. Sometimes <clears> they have a street <throat> address or whatever. So we just have to confirm. We'll that. have to look and see if they. Yeah. You know, What's your? Slot we but we had use, to make uh, that one up. What's your number, Tom? Cemetery. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we looked at what yours was. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and there's a house where the owner has died and it's empty right now, but that's 74, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> the uh, um, Ashlot parking lot is right opposite Bob Fiala, so you know, we can just look at the Bob's name. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to be accurate as long as they're, they get you there. Yeah, I know um, the land trust was doing that when they did the Google Maps. When they put it on Google Maps, they would put a, a number on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So people could find it. But I think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay, any questions on either of those two items? How's our map supply? Hmm? How's our map supply? That's, I, that was another item I was going to get to eventually. Okay. Um, but we could do that now if you want. Um, no, I just, I was at Celebrate East Haddam this weekend, and, and the land trust had a nice layout of all their properties with all the maps to hand out. I was wondering if people I'm were assuming ready. you picked up the box that I left on the doorstep when yeah. we left. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I was wondering if we think we should do another reorder of maps. Um, Last time we ordered 3,000. We probably don't need to order Burnham or um, Chapman. Because unless, who does, who does Chapman? I do Chapman. You do Chapman? Yeah. How, have you um, been? I, I, I'm not sure, actually. Um, I haven't been down there in a while. Um, but I, I, I have lots of the others, and I've been filling the others. So I'm, I'm pretty well stocked, I believe. But I'll, I'll, I want to go down to Chapman. And, um, once I fill that, I may, may need something else. Okay, you do Harris too? I do Harris. I have Harris in the car. Or no, I, actually, they're in my garage. I, I, oh, no, I think I, they might be in the car, or they might um, be in my garage. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Dean, I do Dean. And while we're talking about that, that second box at Dean is you can't reach it. There's a gully and it's always you know, overgrown. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, that must, have, road. that must have really that, washed out. Yeah, I, I couldn't more. even get there the last time I was looking yeah. after it. 
And um, well, that's Gully's been there since I. Yeah, it's always been a bad spot. That's a. I think that Matt box needs to be moved towards hopefully what will be the kiosk area in the parking area there on the right hand side of the road, on the end of the road. Yeah, we've got right to find side, it. Is there room on the right? That's the private property on the right. Uh, so th that was pitched the other way, so the water was supposed to run on the right side, but I think one of the major storms created the gully on the left side, uh, which is what is causing the problem. Uh, but that, is that there room the to move it? Again. Well, I mean, it's probably going to go on either side, but the problem with putting it on the right side is that putting the kiosk there is that that backs up the private property. Everything That's behind it on the left is is the easement. So, so it should really, be on the well, left. It's really difficult. I've tried it several. One time I did fill in a box. I you know, cut some very tall weeds and got in there, but it's really... It's sounds, like, sounds like a, the stewardship needs to get in there and do some trimming. <laughs> well, but it, but it's... Pardon <laughs> No, I think it's not just a question of trimming it because it's the it's the yeah. Color. So I, we can look at re doing the drainage there. That's what it sounds like the issue is more than. Because there are two posts there. I think there's a wild bird area post and then yeah. there's a sign and, yeah. and then yeah. the map post. Um, but it's I suppose it could be done, but it might take some work. <clears throat> it's got to be accessible. Yeah, there's no question about that. If can't have. If you can't get to it, then it's not. Yeah. Uh, whether it's on one that's why I didn't want to put it on the other side though that's why it's put on that side yeah no that makes sense I mean if, at least it backs up to the our property but uh, if it's probably just a matter of pitching the gravel there in the opposite direction so it's a deep that, that's a I've stumbled into it it's probably uh, I know where it is three, I know. Four feet, or three feet deep I would say so, so do we need chapel you have should have plenty right which one? You have Chapel, right? Chapel Farm? Uh, yes. No, I've only got like uh, maybe a dozen left. They go through a lot of maps out there. Th that's the busiest. Yeah. Didn't we recently reorder those? Chapel Farm? Uh, well, I still have some. Uh, uh, when I, uh, I left you a message, and I forget how because my memory is not that great, I uh, said basically we could use more of everything except for one that I have a huge pile of. Do you um, remember which one it was? I don't remember. I left it in the, the voicemail I left I know, there. but it was garbled, and I couldn't understand. Oh. <laughs> well, when, when I get home, I'll, I'll okay. take another look, and I'll email you back. But basically, I have, you know, at least a pile this high of most of them. But okay. now... You if, gave me all the chapel form, though. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you, you gave me. Right. Okay, so we may need more chapel, so... And we still need the bird thing, so I don't... I, don't I, have, I have the bird ones... You have the bird with her. I ordered those. Yeah, hatch. Do we need hatch then? You still hatch, have... hatch is okay. You're okay. Burning with... brook is okay, and lean is okay. The hatch is the second busiest. Right. I find. I have a lot of Lena maps. I remember that. Yeah, they're not so. moving that fast. Right. Yeah. Who has rose? I do. Is yeah. rose good? It's good. Yeah, I have plenty left. Roaring brook. Do you have roaring brook? No, I have no. Shagru. You have Shagru. Is Shagru good? Yeah, I'm, I have plenty. I'm okay. No, I have, I have, I have Roaring Brook. I, I said Burning Brook. I have Roaring Brook. That's what I have. Is Roaring Brook? That's the one on, uh, on uh, Clark Hill. Yeah. Roaring yeah. Brook is good? Yeah, I have that. That's, I have plenty of maps. Sabine? Who has Sabine? You have Sabine? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, I mean, I could use more, but... Uh, well, if you could use more, I'll order them. They don't go well, through a I, whole lot. I, I still have some Sabine, so... Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can give me a shout. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't... I have like Davison and, Davison and, and uh, Sabine. And Is Davison both, in good shape? <clears throat> they both don't use a lot, yeah. Okay. My point, what I was bringing up with my point was that um, when we have these social events, which we really, we should have been at Celebrate East Tatum and Next year, we'll make a point to do that. But to have maps uh, at these events is really... Well, that's why I wanted for Riverfest. It's important, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I thought, isn't that why you picked the maps up, was to have them there? Yeah, but we didn't do them at, at the Celebrate East Tatum. We ended up not doing it at Celebrate East Tatum. Oh. So, but okay. I want to make sure we have them for Riverfest, that's all. And I'll make sure we have enough, and if we don't, I'll order some. Yeah, okay. So... Okay. All right. 
You, John, at uh, Rose Farm, do you find most of them go in off of Town Street or yeah. over on the other yeah. side? Silas uh, Holmes. Yeah, Silas Holmes hardly, hardly ever uh, is that either. Yeah, I would think people probably don't even realize the they Street. could go in there. You're supposed to be mowing Silas Homes now, too, the parking lot in that area. So. Oh, okay. I haven't checked it recently. Yeah, I think they did the last time I was there, yeah. I walked that red trail, and uh, it was... Ricky Shea didn't know it was there, so... It was mowed, but yeah, you, uh, nobody goes down there to hike that. Everybody yeah, comes yeah. in off of town street. We used to ride through there all the time. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is a beautiful spot. Yeah. yeah. Great horseback riding trails. Um, so Rob and I went to Robbie Road, to the Robbie Road Trail. Oh. Okay. And really? Really? Yeah. That's a wicked wet. Yeah. So we're just wondering why that was a really a good idea. <laughs> uh, it might not be. Oh, because we just think it would be so expensive to put. I mean, you know, this was something that Ralph and um, Cameron approached me on and you know they needed access and since then they're <clears throat> toying with the idea of getting access off of uh, which they now will be able to do yeah they're going to well that was undecided when i talked to cameron yeah, this, this weekend it well it has been they have 17 you have anything to add feet there, there is access on 17 feet there right there to get into oh, a lot. can we do a curb cut and Parking space for one or park on the grass area. You don't need a yeah. curb cut. So. Just, you know, okay, so when whenever we worked there, we all just parked on, you know, drove over the curb and parked on the grass. So. Yeah. So you need a little bridge right at the beginning, which I guess they're going to contract out. So. Okay, so that's the land trust responsibility. Yeah. yeah. But that gives oh. them access to all the property. Additionally, they're being offered another twelve acres, which will give them access to. Colchester Turnpike and uh, possibly a Falls Basin donated to them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Better access? Uh, well, additional access because it'll be a separate piece which will tie right into block. So, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of parking and a key. Uh, potentially, there'll yeah. be a parking area right at the end of uh, yeah. uh, on Colchester Turnpike. Yeah. I just think the Robbie Road Trail there would, <clears throat> would be extremely hard to put a trail in there, don't you think? A lot that, of work. No, a lot it, was, of work. it was three water crossings, and, you know, I mean, it, it's a nice piece of land that the town owns, but if we can't do anything with it, it is what it is. Yeah, it just, I just think it would be a ton of work for not much benefit. I don't know. The benefit was to get to... Landlocked. Well, now they could get to it yeah, the other way, well, so maybe it's not such a good idea anymore. Yeah, no, I understand that. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> I got an email from Mr. Gelston today that he has a few Conservation Commission items in his shed that needs to be moved to a more appropriate location. Um, he said it includes, he's not, not limited to, but bollards, paint, brushes, etc. Um, we don't have a place to put them. A secure town location. So, it would is there a place you could take them temporarily? Can we get a place in the town to store some stuff, like a bollard at least? Well, the bollard you're probably going to want to use right away. The bollard that is there, I'm assuming, is for uh, patrol. That's uh, if that's the case, you're. It, I'm going to have the town crew, and I was going to bring it up here, install it down there, so they okay. can, so nobody can drive down. The, the town's going to put that in. Yeah. yeah. What's a bollard? I've been uh, the yellow thing to keep cars in. You can remove it. So. And then he said paints and brushes, and he didn't have a, an inventory of the rest. So I don't know what else is there, but maybe you can contact. Yeah, I him. thought most of the stuff was out of there, but. Uh, well, he mentioned just sent it today. Where is this? At at, at, at Charlotte's house. house. Yeah, I'm not sure where. The barn. Okay. Todd, Todd and no, I'll Robert take. I'll take. I'll shed. take whatever he's got. Yeah. I think most of the stuff is gone, but uh, you know, I didn't remember there was a bother there. You know, there was a lot of flagging at one point, and uh, uh, probably some paint and whatever else. Yeah, paint and brushes. You paint. It, uh, if it's boundary paint, it's all right. I mean, because that's an oil base, but uh, it's probably getting pretty old. But anyway, but somebody yeah. shake it up for you. Probably. So I can give you a call, Charlotte, and 
Yeah. Film up. Well, uh, 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 talk to Todd because I don't know where the stuff is. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he he's working from home, so you know, as long as you make contact with him and arrange yeah. a time, he can yeah. show you where he stashed. But, but Todd home. raises a good point. I mean, we should have some place where the conservation commission and store its equipment. In particular, I'm thinking of the two water tanks that we have now over at the trail, yeah. which are about down to a third each. So they've been, they've been used yeah. in the summer, but we're, you know, with the rain we've had lately, I'm not sure we're gonna to need to do a lot more watering. It would be a simple matter just to drain the tanks. I can throw them on the back of my truck and, 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 uh, and move them, but I need some place to. Well, you we still, for now, put them back down where they came from, so. Town garage. Back in the town garage? In the village? In the village. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. But, uh, we'll look down here. I don't know. The problem is getting access and then keys and things like that. So. You mean down here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so with Burnham Brook opening up to um, different organizations, would, would we be eligible to rent space from them? You You're know talking about... The house at Burnham Brook. No, I wouldn't go oh, down that road because no, the town's wouldn't. not going to get involved in that. Yeah, the so. town wouldn't probably likely do that. The Excuse town would not likely want to rent. The town has its own. No, I'm not talking about the town. I'm talking about Conservation Commission. That's the town. Well, we're the town, no. No. <laughs> so the town's not going to get involved with them. But uh, we can look at, like I said, storing some of this stuff right. here and put right. it in a closet or something maybe together. So. Okay. Did you have, do you have a key for here? I do. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on stewardship? Oh, um, no, I don't think so. Okay, outreach and promotion. Um, I have submitted an article on Urbanic um, to East Adam News, and it just hasn't gone in yet. It hasn't been in the paper yet. Um, but we have Riverfest coming up on October 16th, and we need people to man, help man the table. So I will be there. It's from one to, only from one to four. It's only those few hours. But we need people there to be able to answer questions about, usually people have questions about the properties, where, they're, where they are. We're gonna have, a, I ha, I'm creating a big map We'll have all of our maps there. Um, is that a Saturday or a Sunday? It's a Saturday. Saturday? <coughs> so is anyone willing to be there? Uh, I'd like to be there, but can I check my work schedule? Sure. Back for you on that? I'd love to do that. OK. Anyone else? I've got to. I know you're going to be there at 8 <clears throat> Mile. Yeah. And you're going to be serving food and stuff because it's usually Various there. things, yeah. Yeah, yeah one oh, to no. four is not bad. I, I could probably get up by one. Okay. So uh, I, could, yeah. I could be there. I mean, even if you're just there for an hour, it would help. Um, it's three hours, and you know. Yes, and there's music and there's food, and you can walk around. I mean, if we, if a bunch well, of us are there, we can take turns walking around. Oh, there's three hours and they're set up and take down. Is that fun? Where is that? Yeah. Devil's Hopper. It's at oh, Devil's Hopper. That's a bit, okay. Yeah. yeah. You can be there too, maybe? Um, yeah, hopefully. I have yeah. to check my okay. plane tickets. I might not be in the country. Okay. Can I bring my dog? Sure of our gates, but it's no. right around here. Okay. Oh, sure. so let me know. I will. Let me know. Okay. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. And and if I'm in the country, then I'm good for three hours. Okay. Yeah, All right. I great. Love that. I got a great history lesson at the last one. Okay. Technically, yes, sir. As long as I'm. Marilyn, are you planning a tent and a <laughs> table? Yeah, we're gonna have a table. She's a real icebreaker. She Can is. we use your tent? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I was going to give it to the, no, the Conservation Commission is going to buy another tent for their own use, and the one that I have, I'm going to give to the land trust so they can use it with their Velcro and things, so. Oh, okay. So we're going to buy a tent? Okay. <laughs> You're going to buy a tent for this event? Well, well for it's future, permanently for yours. Yeah. You know, for, all the events, any For events. any event we have. Yeah, but you're going to have to get it. So that you have it for Riverfest? Yes. Yeah. Who's going to be responsible for that? For getting it? Yeah. Carol. Robert. <laughs> okay. Okay. And or do you Linda want to, or Dawn, one of, somebody will get it. Somebody Pat's ordering get it. tables and chairs. We'll no, Are you part of that? or? 
No, they'll be providing tables and chairs, or we can always, we have plenty of tables and chairs. We can, yeah, yeah, we can get like a table like that. So you're going to bring your own? Yeah, we're going to okay. bring our own. Okay. I, told, I, I, have, told Pat, I have tables. I already told Pat we're going to Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. we're all set all right. with Pat. I was just clear, trying to clarify that. Yeah. yeah. And okay. then your setup, we're going to be set up typically right next to the uh, land trust. Yeah. Yeah. And on that same note, uh, I talked to Joeen. Um, Henry this weekend at uh, Celebrate and she said she would more than welcome us next year uh, at, for Celebrate East Haddam to like um, set up next to her. Okay. So our spot was next to them? No. 112? No it wasn't. No it wasn't. It was, it was next down to by the Democratic Town Committee. Oh that's right. So what, yeah. I mean there's a couple reasons we didn't end up setting anything <clears> up but uh, it's just yeah, we usually are next to them. Yeah, to put the land trust in Eight Mile and Conservation sense. Commission it's together. A lot of crossover with people, be, so yeah. 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 Okay. I'll just make sure Tom Sanders knows to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, liaison reports, IWWC. Um, they did not have a July meeting, so I didn't miss anything. They lacked a quorum, so. Did they have an August meeting? They did, yeah. And um, something that I wrote down that I don't quite understand my note is the Lake Hayward controversy. Does that mean anything to you? Lake, possibly the issue with people were complaining about access to the beach. Yeah, 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 and yeah. they were clearing property, and they, but the, the information was that was old information, and they had showed pictures of people <laughs> removing trees and everything, but that was a year old or several. Okay. Yep, I remember that now. Okay, and there was supposed to be a field walk associated with that as well as with the, the Sportsman's Club, is that, is that what it's called? The, the really huge... The East Adam Fish and Game Club. Fish and is that Game the one where they're going to look at the potential cleaning of the ponds on the 8 Mile yeah. River? Yeah. And I have not received any word about that field walk, so I just wondered what was going on. I think on. they had it already, didn't they? I thought it sounded they were. I thought Mary it said August. it was like hmm, a weekend ago or two weekends ago or something. Oh, okay. Um, I was not notified about that, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, and they tabled talk about a commercial building <laughs> up across from the Hilltop Barbecue. Um, they are moving forward with adding nine holes to the disc golf course. Um, and that was the only thing that seemed like it might touch us. Uh, there was a question <coughs> about um, the. Conservation Commission trail that went through the golf course, which I don't know anything about. Anybody else? It's know? actually not a Conservation Commission trail, is it? It's actually a um, municipal. Recreation. It's actually on the municipal property, isn't it? Well, it is municipal property, like all our properties, but it's not a responsibility. It's not our responsibility. We turn that over to uh, Parks and Rec. Parks and okay. Rec. Because they have the. There was. It would be crazy for us to try and overlap and be on top of their uh, the uh, disc golf course. So it's all given over to Parks and Rec. So oh, we're talking about the disc, Dickles, golf, disc golf, not yeah, yeah. Disc Fox yeah. Hop Yard. Or yeah. No, no, no. Okay. So that's uh, it. Uh, yeah, okay. While we're on the, top, on the subject, um, has there been any discussion about the bioretention area uh, at Lake Hayward? In back of the tennis courts, do you know anything about that? There, there is an area there, but that's people are always constantly complaining about that. But it's intact and it functions well. I mean, even with a they, they received a grant. Yeah, they're going to be doing something there, but I don't know if there's any. There's nothing. <clears throat> there, was it was it discussed this at this meeting or not? I don't remember being discussed at this meeting. But they're going to try and do something there. They did get a grant for it, and uh, yeah, it's the State of Connecticut, DEEP, yeah. Yeah. and it's a large bioretention area that yeah. is going to accept all that. Uh, a lot of water comes down off that hill yeah. from Hayfield yeah. and uh, mm. East Lane. So, so you, don't, you don't see any movement in that? I haven't heard anything more in it because they're working on it. I think they're waiting on engineering drawings on it. So. I thought they were supposed to start this fall. Well, they but, may be. Uh, uh, I yeah. don't remember. Okay. I haven't been able to attend all the meetings. So. Okay. All right. P and Z updates. Um, 
nothing overly relevant to our, our committee. Um, we're moving ahead with the subdivision application for the Gristmill Plaza. Uh, they want to subdivide that property and uh, build something, take down the three buildings that are there and build something. Um, could be controversial. Stay tuned. Um, site review for Nutmeg Pharmacy, which is what Tom was talking about. Mm -hmm. There's a small wetland portion. This is across from the Moodus Barbecue. Uh, there's a small wetland section there. And a pond. It's a pond. There's a nice pond back there. Oh, good. Uh, so, and that, that will have a drive drive through. That's right on the corner there. And that will have a drive through window in the pharmacy. And the only and that will have to comply with the new drive through regulations, right? Uh, no, they came in before that. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it looks like it's, uh, <coughs> from the plans that I saw, it looks like it's well thought out. And okay. Sure. Um, and then there's uh, still the um, Banner Lodge Black Birch Golf Course that's uh, before us. Uh, that's coming up, right? Isn't that coming up soon? Yeah, September. Is that what they call the loft thing? Is that called the loft? Is that what I see on the next meeting for loft? Yeah, I think they might call that it loft. the loft at yeah. Black Birch. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a twenty-unit uh, conversion of the old clubhouse to uh, mm. to apartments, and there'll be six affordable houses, apartments in it. Where was that? This is a, the old Banner Lodge golf course. It's oh. now called Black Birch. Okay. It's off of North Mooters Road. Yeah. 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 So is the clubhouse part of the golf course now separate? It's a separate entity. There's three pieces there. The condominiums, the clubhouse, and the golf course. And so the clubhouse is separate from the golf course, or is right. that owned by the same group? It's owned by the same group, but it's a separate Right. Entity, but but th that owner is not the same owner of the condominiums, right? No, those are owned. Well, those are owned privately. Well, yeah, but, but he the, has a controlling interest in that. Yeah, because I I know at one point everything was all under the same roof, and then they split things off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that it. That's it. Okay, open space updates. Um, I have an article going in on the Hayward lot um, for the October 5th referendum. It's actually going to be a letter to the editor instead of an article. We decided that would probably get more readership. We decided that with um, Dave Hollihan. It'll go in on September the September 30th issue, so it'll be right before the referendum. Um, October 5th referendum? Yeah, the referendum is October 5th for the Hayward lot. The open space. They put a date on that. Yep, October 5th. October 5th, yep. Is that a standalone? Yes, it's going to be a standalone. Okay, that's good news to me. Yeah, aren't you glad, glad you come to these meetings? Yeah. <laughs> That's the O'Connell Extension. Yeah, O'Connell Road Extension property. Has that been publicized or other than Facebook? <laughs> it, it will be out to everybody soon. I mean, uh, okay. it's approved at all the meetings. And okay, well, it's done it's air. Coming. It's coming. Yeah, I know there's going to be something coming out in the paper. I think I just saw something. No, I was, we were just out on the trails, and I was talking to different people, and they were wondering... When a uh, lady that lived on Lake Hayward I was wondering when that was coming out. I think out. they were told already, but uh, Pete Gover was notifying them, right? Yeah, they were notified. Lampers okay. was notified. October 5th. Yep, October 5th. And the voting is? Right now it's 12 to 8. 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 It can be changed. There'll be a town meeting coming up <clears throat> 21st. And that'll be in the gymnasium? Town meeting? No, the vote. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Town meeting is going to be here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Um, any
Any questions on that? So get your friends and neighbors yeah. excited about voting for that because it's going to be a tough sell, I think. With the, I think the important thing, if you don't mind, is that uh, we do have a grant for ninety six thousand nine hundred. Okay. We have a fifteen thousand uh, dollar uh, grant from the uh, eight mile, uh, and uh, fifteen thousand dollars in, in anonymous donations. So, uh, so we have thirty thousand dollars on top of it. So we're it's under it's just over, I think it's two hundred one thousand. Two hundred one thousand and one. Two hundred one thousand one hundred dollars is the so cost. So it amounts to about sixteen hundred dollars an acre. We're down to six. We're down to sixteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. I was going to do the math, but yeah, I'll take your word for it. Sixteen twenty. Okay, but that's a good number. I mean, sixteen twenty an acre. That's the that's the number to get out. And it connects to Shagru. You cannot walk away from it connects to Shagru. bargains like this. Oh. <clears throat> the, um, the wording of the referendum on, on, on that piece, as I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, mentions the entire cost, the $328,000. Um, and I hope that doesn't confuse people that they're actually... I know there's, the, there's some uh, language that indicates that, um, you know, that's the cost of the whole land except for any kind of grants, et cetera, et cetera. But the planning. average person, the average voter, may not understand that it's just 200000 So typically what we do, well, there'll be all sorts of information coming out from the town, uh, and then there'll be Maryland's letter on it, and the land trust is going to be submitting something, which will be an insert into the paper, which covers, shows what the costs are. Uh, but we have to list it that way just because... On the off chance that somebody doesn't come through on something, so, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, and all the others have gone through, but people understand that that's the gross cost, not not the net. So, and you're saying two hundred and ten is the number? Two hundred one two oh one one zero zero two oh one two oh one one. Okay. Yeah. So we need about seventy. And that's one hundred and twenty-eight acres. One hundred twenty-four acres. Twenty. One two four. One two four. And it will be from noon to noon to eight. Yeah. Okay. Good. It, it can't be changed at a uh, town meeting for that. So. Okay. And open space things are often done at, at a reduced time because. Yeah. No, I understand that. No. I'm glad it's not going to be co-joined with the swing bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, because we want to vote no on one and yes I'm on the other. <laughs> it would have been confusing. There were some people that wanted to push it out to the referendum, but I didn't want to get it combining with that. And we also have a deadline of closing on it by November 1st, so we couldn't go to the referendum. Okay, good, good. But it's going to take, we need a lot of support. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of naysayers, but uh, I mean, from the perspective that we've worked pretty hard on this, and, and the realtor's been working with us to hold it because the contract mm -hmm. actually ended a while back. So oh, wow. they have offers. If it if it fails, yeah, I heard that it will be gone. Yeah, I know. Eleven right. to fifteen houses could go there. How many houses? Eleven to fifteen houses okay. could go there. Oh. And make sure you mention in the letter, you know, the the average. It's uh, already gone, Charlotte. So it's already done. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and the, those people would shop in Colchester. They wouldn't shop in. They wouldn't mm -hmm. shop in East Haddam. Mm -hmm. Well, and not only that, but, you know, the cost of students far is greater than the average real estate single-family home tax bill. So. Plus, it would be an hour ride into school, bus yeah. ride to school, so. Yeah. Um, I think that's all mentioned in the letter, isn't it? Yes. Cost. Yeah, well, it kind of does, yeah. It does talk does, about the uh, cost of, yeah. <clears throat> it's all mentioned in... Um, a lot of it's mentioned in the land trust thing, which I had a lot to do with writing that too. So, um, okay, eight mile committee updates. Uh, uh, Maybe uh, River, Riverfest, right? No, pr primarily uh, our focus has been on Riverfest, but uh, we're also uh, waiting to move forward. Like I said earlier, on this uh, property on Burnham Brook, uh, we're going to be moving in there with a couple of uh, other organizations. And uh, 
So is Land Trust planning on moving in there too? I, I believe they've given yeah. the thumbs up, yeah. 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 Audubon and... Uh, oh, Audubon too? And Lyme. Oh, Lyme too? Possibly Salem, yeah. And possibly Salem Land Trust? Yeah. Wow, okay. Nature Conservancy will have uh, space in there too. Uh, and they're not going to rent out part of it to a family or anything? It's going to be the whole thing? No, the whole thing, yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. We'll break it up into offices and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. I don't, I don't think this. Do you have a date we, or anything yet? A date? No, no, no. <laughs> Getting the Nature Conservancy to move on these things is. It's like, yeah. It's like syrup, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rob, do you have anything uh, on as far as the Eight Mile River uh, construction on the, the three bridges in Salem? Uh, that should be opening back up soon. Uh, there's been a number of uh, issues with the detours, complaints about people speeding and the amount of traffic, and they're afraid that will continue. During the rainstorm, however, it was totally blocked or cut <coughs> off because of uh, flooding on uh, Darling Road. Uh, there was two, three feet of water. Darling room flooded? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so even if you tried to go through and you went, the funny thing is you'd ha you have to go through two towns to get to Salem before you find out you can't get, can't get there from here. Wow. So wow. that would be a really long go around at that yeah. point. But yeah. Uh, yeah. it was a relatively short live. I think it was probably one day or yeah. several hours, but uh, <clears throat> I've seen some pictures of it. Uh, you might have been able to get to White Birch, go around, but I don't, I, you know, I couldn't tell from the pictures. In any event, uh, that should be winding down pretty soon, and you'll go to one-way traffic. But uh, I think, I think mid-month is the last thing I heard. So if they're on schedule, uh, the biggest, you know, so uh, middle of September, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, of course, then again, the whole same. The, I'm going to repeat the whole thing next year on Strong's Brook, just east of uh, Baker Lane. Should be, uh, that may be a little bit longer because they can't do much uh, accelerated bridge construction, ABC, what they call ABC, because it all has to be done in place, tear it all out. So they're going to move the whole brook underpass for Strong's Brook further to the west, uh, 100 feet or so. That's down the hill where the meter, meter the uh, uh, geological uh, site is. The, the flow monitoring station? Well, yeah, flow monitoring. No, no, it's, it's to the east of the flashing light at Baker Lane and Three Bridges there. East, up the hill? Yep. A bridge? Yep. Wow. So I'll be able to get to Baker Lane. You'll be able to get to Baker Lane. But I won't be able to go any further. Oh. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so the same detours basically will be in place. Except you'll have to go up Hopyard Road and around. Hmm. You won't be able to get to West Road or anything like that. So. Wow. Wow. What's Salem Road? Good night, 156. Take a left. Well, yeah. I mean, that route will still be available. Yes. But, yeah. Because they're, they're, they're routing, trying to route people that's different ways, so. Wow. That's next year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all I have. Okay. Planting existing garden updates. Mr. Wilson and Ms. Pagnano. Sure. Um, uh, let's see. I went today and removed a lot of the mountain mint that some master gardener had planted there. At which? <laughs> Petrel. At Petrel. At Petrel. At Petrel. Yeah. And I weeded the, um, the pollinator garden and there's um, a lot less mountain mint there now. And I surveyed the flowers, we walked around and they're all looking pretty good. It all looks really good. Yeah. Okay. It looks like they've established themselves very nicely. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, I do. I, some of the uh, the tall sunflowers, the Jerusalem artichokes, fell over with the with the rain. That's what I was. Thinking. Yeah, but uh, and I wasn't going to push them back up because they just fall over again. Mm -hmm. I think once the leaves turn brown, 
I'll just trim off the top and then put it back in the soil to let the roots, you know, uh, grow in uh, over the over the winter. But yeah, all the plants are doing really well. Uh, I've been going periodically with that uh, spray stuff, you know, the deer repel uh -huh. on the plants. The deer, you know, deer will taste just about anything, but they really don't seem to like this deer repel. <clears throat> so that keeps them off. Um, it won't work forever, but I, I'm keeping it at least to give them the first year with the start. Uh, I went, got together last Tuesday with Brett, Brett Thompson, another master gardener intern. We went to Harris, pulled out 12 of the uh, red twig dogwoods and moved them over to our bannock. So they've been installed now along the pond at Urbanic. They like wet feet, so this should be a perfect spot for them. And we'll give some color in the winter. Um, still have like a dozen left to find places for. So this is probably a good month to be putting plants in the ground. So if anybody has any ideas or suggestions where they would want more red twig dogwoods. Anything at Lefebvre? Uh, that's around the parking lot or anything. That's actually a possibility. That was pretty. That was pretty sloppy there when we were there, wasn't it? Wet, yeah. 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 Is it always? Brown's is it always wet there? Yeah, it's pretty wet there. Yeah. Yeah, the be, wetlands is all to the. Yeah, if you if you go in about to the east and a couple so. hundred feet, there's a, a a waterway that runs. Yeah pretty consistently and uh, then beyond that it spreads out into this is it open wide area yeah because they like sun as well so if you can get wet feet and sun know. that would be well how about anything around the parking lot where could yeah that's where I would well, I, yeah that's what I was I would right, right, right there it? that's an open area right at the parking lot it's not as wet it, it, it runs off runs to the other places down in some of the areas that were being uh, referenced previously, there's there's wet and pretty good sun that it might be nice along the trail. Yeah. Along yeah. the, uh, which trail? That's the blue trail as it curves over that. The blue trail? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll check that. And out. hold off planting around the parking lot because I think they're going to come in and uh, grade it and uh, finish the work there mm -hmm. shortly. So put some topsoil around it, et cetera. But they wouldn't be doing anything behind the kiosk, would they? Behind the kiosk, they might be leveling yeah. that out a little bit yeah. there because it's pretty lumpy. Yeah. Lumpy. Yeah, it would be nice if we That's could have a, a smoother talking. path down to that yeah. blue. When we were putting the kiosk in, we ran into a tank. Or something. <clears throat> a tank? Underground tank. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. These guys think it was hollow. I don't. I don't know if it was. Oh yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we hit the same point when we were digging both. We posts thought it was the the old foundation for the barn and no, it was maybe a manure smell and then Tom focused more on it and he said this is septic <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know any history on a house there <clears throat> I mean a house is from the 1700s so the, you know I don't yeah uh, and I don't know you, you said the, the barn was further back no the far, barn excuse me was right about where the parking lot is so yeah so it's we had to move the down. kiosk a little bit to get some depth. But uh, is it possible they had like an underground water storage there? Or something? It's possible. Or something? It's possible. Just don't know. Yeah, because it was definitely like a boom. <laughs> Tom, yeah. if you're available at some point, uh, I'm going to be traveling tomorrow for the rest of the week. But if you're available like next week, at some point, maybe we you could show me some of these places. Sure. I'll bring yeah, some plants up, and we can we can stick them in the ground. That out of the way yeah. of the parking lot. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. I'm thinking, speaking of the kiosk, when we put kiosks in, we should make sure, if possible, we could see both sides. People could get around to the back so we could use the back sides for stuff, too. Yeah, well, this is this has access to No, both. I'm just saying, just for other, for future. Oh, people, right. All kiosks, we should try to make sure people could get to the back side if yeah. they can, if it's possible to locate it. No, that's a good point, because uh, the one at Boot Rock is impassable around back. Mm -hmm. and, and I think uh, the one it should grow, you can't get around the back too, right? Um, I don't know. Kind of in the gully too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's wet. It's really 
it's really running back from back to back. But, uh, yeah, you just built a bridge. Yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. to keep that in mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and Marilyn, just to, yeah. just to go back to the uh, Master Gardener yeah, uh, sure. intern, I'm wondering if we could get another uh, certificate of appreciation. For Brett? For Brett Thompson. Is it T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. And B-R-E-T-T? -T -T? Yes. Okay, sure. That'd be great. <clears throat> okay. What else is going on in your world there? In your garden world. Uh, well, I you know, went up the Salmon River Overlook. I, I might have mentioned this last time. I cleared an area around from all the mulberries, and they're doing fine. I never did get up and get back to do the uh, 12 choke cherries that we have up there. But I did notice up there at the, uh, what do you call that? Gazebo or? Gazebo. Oh, it's called there, There's actually. What's it called? There's actually stuff coming up between the cracks. And I think it's <laughs> cracks of the wood, okay? Stuff. St uh, what Define do call, what stuff. What do you call that? Uh, Japanese knotweed, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna, we're going to have to go up there and weed whack. <laughs> but I did see an interesting, uh, I, I think I mentioned this last time as well, I did see an interesting way to combat this pernicious weed. But it's three times three. It's cut it down three times a year for three years, and bag up everything, because any piece of that knotweed that you cut can send up new shoots. Jeez. Yeah, it's nasty, it's nasty stuff. <clears throat> okay. Wow. So, um, did did we get chips delivered up there? I don't think there's any chips no. down there the other day, making sure it didn't blow away. So. They have a, so you they said have there were going to be some at, uh, uh, at Petrel, too, and I didn't was see any it, was new it, um, ones. Was Public Works going to deliver? Yeah. No. Okay. It's on the list. It's on the list, okay. We're going to see some at Petrel, but I don't think they've gotten there yet. So. Okay. This is wood chips? Yeah. Are the wood chips at the transfer station available? No. Transfer station? <laughs> You're so quick with an answer. <laughs> transfer station? Um, There's wood chips at the transfer station? Yeah, beyond the Boy Scout... Uh, there's a I don't know what's there right now. Okay, okay. So I can't answer that. All right. Okay. Anything else, Gary? Well, not, not on planting. Uh, I certainly have other things to talk about. Okay, well, um, let's see. So new bills. We have a bill from Shagbark for 45.64 for... Uh, a chain and chain oil. A couple of chains. A couple of chains the, and chain for the oil. the chainsaw, yeah, and a, so I is that a gallon of oil? And chain oil. I move with yeah. it. No. So, I need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. But speaking of bills, I, I never got paid from the bill I turned in at the last meeting. You're kidding. I remember. No, I, I don't know how long. Maybe it takes a couple of months to get paid. No, it shouldn't take a couple of months. No, I know I sent it to Dawn. Uh, that was for your deer repellent, right? That was for the, yeah, that was for the spray bottle. Yeah. Because it's almost gone at this point. I know I sent it to her. I'll follow up. I think I said he was going to donate it, so I don't know. <laughs> Open your I don't wall. remember signing a check for you, sir. So I don't no, know I know, and I know I sent it to well, I, remember, I, I might I not even cash it. I just to have your signature would be. Oh, well, that's true. A lot of people. I could frame that. it. <laughs> Open your wallet, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we already talked about the Riverfest table. Um, for other, I wanted to talk about the breast cancer thing. So you said you did it at Sabine and Chagru. We have other. Two other places we're going to do other. Um, we're going to do four. Paris, Sabine. Now, this is supposed to be a secret. No, but the local, the, but not the, was it was it all the? We're not going to even tell people what the trail, what the properties are on. No, we're going to give them a hint. Okay. Of what color trail to look for. But we're not going to tell them what properties they're on, or were we going to tell them the <laughs> properties but not tell them what trails? 
There's not much secret if you're broadcasting. No, I've never asked him before, but you already gave the other two properties. So what do you think? Should we tell them the properties? or? No, I would No. Okay. It's only, it's not, well, so it's going to be four, four properties. Yeah, four, four properties. Yeah. And how many trails on each of the properties? Do you know? One. One on each? Yeah. yeah. So one. Four, four total. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how are you planning on advertising it? I uh, made a rough draft of something I was going to send to you, email it. Okay. And I think that, um, I know that the fourth trail, I'll mark the fourth trail soon. Okay. So maybe the last two weeks of the hometown paper, one of those weeks. Okay. Or mentioned in the um, conservation corner, conservation commission corner. Uh-huh. Uh, just a mention, a blip in each one of those. Okay. You know, something like that. Yeah. Of nature. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we're going to do this for the month of October? Correct. Okay, so we want to get this in really soon. Correct. Okay. I'm going to email this to you tomorrow. Okay, it's a perfect. Draft and you can tweak it any way you'd like. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then um, we were thinking that um, when they report that they've found all the symbols on these trails. Explain the symbols. The, the symbols are diamonds, hearts, spade, and clubs. I like it. Okay. And um, they're marked visibly on the trails. Somewhere around the, the pink trail. Okay, that's good. You got it? Yep. Okay, so they got to go <clears throat> looking for it. So that's how they tell us that they found them, by, by they got the symbols. Okay. Right. You so, take, um, you take so a photograph. Yep, take a photograph and... and uh, email it to the Conservation Commission. So they take a photograph of the symbol? Of the symbol. Yeah, the tag with the symbol on it. Yeah. So so each trail has either, has one of the four suits? Correct. Okay. okay. Is, there, is this going to be any conflict with hunting season? Will there be hunters out in the woods? In October? <clears throat> no. October? October, and there's no hunting oh, on okay. Sunday. No, not Sunday, but I mean, people could walk the trail at any point and yeah. photograph. I mean, maybe in the article or the announcement, just yeah. just on Depending offhand, on say, you know, be. it is hunting season. Please wear visible clothing. Is it hunting season? Yeah. October okay. is hunting season? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll make a note of that. Well, yeah, but there's the trails are open during hunting season anyway, so... This is nothing unusual, but we can mention it just to be sure. It wouldn't hurt. I hate to see somebody going on the trail get pierced with an arrow. Yeah, but hunting season doesn't start until November first, right? Typically, it's November first. So. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think also, archery, archery's open now. Hunting in any of the any of the properties. Archery's open now, isn't it? Uh, well, I don't know. I'd have to look and see when it's open on. Well, there may be some archery, but not necessarily on our properties. So. I'd have to look that up again. Okay, but it wouldn't hurt to mention it if it, if it affects these. But properties. I mean, it's always a good idea at this time of the year to wear fluorescent orange. Yeah, it might be good to mention it in the article, Susan. Mm -hmm. Or bright colored clothing. Yeah. The only property that we have a, a prohibition on is uh, is uh, beans at um, Sundays. Linda's, so what's, Linda's going to tell me now what the story is on hunting. Okay. She controls it. <laughs> September 15th. So. No, it is September, huh? Wow. So what's our prize going to be? <laughs> um, we were thinking either a pink hat with the Conservation Commission printed on it with the logo, or T-shirts with the logo. Okay. How many prizes are going to be given out? Well, we don't know. I mean, we, it would yeah. be whoever many okay. people. In other words, everyone that finds it would get a prize. Yeah. Correct. And we have to get all four to get the prize. Yeah, four to get all four to get the prize. Um. Okay, so we did. We just have to order them. So what do you? Great. So. 
what I was thinking is like, um, see how fast and furious they're coming in, you know, in the month of October. <laughs> and it's like, you know, if, if it is an interest, see if people are doing it, which, which I hope for. Mm. It, would be, it would be a fun thing for a family, <clears throat> you know, to go and mark. The, it's well marked. They're well, they're very visible. And so um, depending on how many people start registering and it starts clicking in, we could probably judge by that. You know, and then but how much was how much the hats cost, Rob? Do you know? I think when the ones we did for the land trust, I think we were selling them for fifteen dollars a piece. But how much do they cost? Uh, Sixty. <laughs> Half. I don't know. Twelve dollars, something like that. So. Because if if a family of four goes out, we have to give it to all four people. Right. That's if they're if if they're twelve dollars a piece. That's a lot of money. Right. It's, so we could think about something different then. You know. The t-shirts aren't that expensive. No, I don't. I again, I spent With, so long. Let's, let me look into the cost and stuff. And, um, we find the cost. Find out the cost. Yeah. I mean, you could do a water bottle. Water bottles are, are really inexpensive too. You know, a water bottle. Yeah. Something to do with hiking. I've yeah. got a closet full of water bottles. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> me too. I'm a, I'm a little confused. Did I hear something about breast cancer earlier? Yeah. So this is a This is a charity. Yeah, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're trying to do something to get people out on our trails. So we're tagging some of our trails yeah. in pink. Okay. And if they find all those pink trails, we're going to uh, give them a little prize. <clears throat> and, and does anything go to a foundation for... Well, no, that's what I was... Because we, weren't we originally going to say that if they wanted to, they could... Instead of the prize, they could say, let us donate the money to breast cancer. It's sort of a motivational thing. If people well, like to come out and want to have fun and do something terrible. Right. And what, what would you do? How much would you donate? Well, whatever we decide the prize money, the prize is going to be, they could say, instead of taking the prize, we could donate the money. That for, instead of giving them the prize, we donate the money that the prize would have cost. So let's say it's $10. We donate $10 to the, the breast cancer. Maybe we do that. Instead of... Instead, instead of, of getting uh, the prize. Instead of any, ordering any prizes, we would donate $10 to the breast cancer. Right. What about just having an inexpensive T-shirt for everybody that participates, then whatever else um, is donated or um, uh, where does the funds come from for uh, items like T-shirts or prizes? They're going to come out of our budget. Our budget. Yeah. Well, maybe you know. I'm just trying to think of a way that money could be raised for people could feel like they were doing something. Uh, for a good cause, um, hmm. where would that come from? Uh, people would sponsor, you know, I guess that's traditionally what happens. Is you get sponsors for your hike, but maybe that's too complicated. That's way too complicated. Yeah, we don't have enough time for that either. Right. Yeah. Um, I thought the initial thought was just to make people aware that October <clears throat> is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And well, no, we did talk about giving a prize. Or and something. not so much uh, funding breast cancer aware uh, yeah. foundations. But. Well, we could talk about a less expensive something, you know. Well, you could have gift certificates like to the, some local restaurants, like Rasslin' Cats to Gelston House, the Italian place across the street from the Gelston House. But tell people that when they participate, those who take pictures and find all the signs will be entered into a raffle and we will pick four or five winners and everybody else can get a water bottle or something something to that effect. It's a thought. Because the problem with t-shirts is, like you say, if, if a family goes out, you're going to have to have an extra large. No, I know. You know, you're right. going to have to have all these different right. sizes for kids and right, stuff. Well, let's give, let's think, let, well, let's Keep thinking about the prizes, and I don't know about prizes. I don't know. Or, or just do, um, you know, the people that send it in will make a donation in their name. That, like what you were saying, to make it a, a charitable thing, and make a donation to the cancer with their name on it. Idea. 
Yeah, we could do that. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to donate if it's a family of four. You don't have to donate for each part of the family. It's the, the you could have, family. Or the, you, you could know, have a family donation. A family donation. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably better. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, when you think about it, you know, there's... So, so many different things give out water bottles with their logos and this, that, and the other thing. Right. Yeah. It, it, it would be, to my mind, more meaningful to, to do it as a you know, donation in their name. But, you know, that's just, that's my opinion. What do you think? No, that, sounds, oh, that sounds good, Charlotte. I, I kind of yeah. like that. Sounds good. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We have had no public comment. Anyone watching? Three people watching, including me. So <laughs> <laughs> two people watching. Um, Hello, public. Mr. Wilson had some other things he wanted to talk about. Yeah, I know. I, I just want to say our next meeting is October fifth. Um, so. As I mentioned at our last meeting, I mean, our next meeting is going to be my last meeting. Um, and I will be, I'm trying to decide what date to resign because what date is the election? November? Second. So if I resign November 3rd. Then you'd have one more meeting. No, then I so then I'll meeting. resign November first, or no, I'll resign October thirty first. On Halloween, it's perfect. <laughs> October thirty first is resigning <coughs> as chairman. You're saying? Yeah. You read the minutes. It was in the minutes. Um, She's resigning from the commission. From the commission. She's leaving us. I, I skimmed over that part and zeroed in on the other. I didn't. I didn't remember seeing. So that. at the next meeting is when we have to have an election for the next chair. No, it's the first meeting in November, because you're still chair during the next meeting. But shouldn't we elect someone, but then the person immediately takes over? Uh, and in November, you do it. Oh, you don't do it at, in October? For, and they're not effective in November? Can't you do it in October at the October meeting and have them well, be effective? You probably do it that way. I mean, you're well, that's the way I would. <laughs> do it. I thought you meant take since I'm the chair, that's the way I would like to do it. Well, that's the way we're going to do it. <laughs> that's it. No. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd do it at the October meeting, and the person would take over in the November meeting. That's how we're going to do it. Okay. Sounds perfect. 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 So, so, Mr. As Wilson, you don't vote. I won't vote. I can't vote. <laughs> I have no so, interest our, in voting. Our next is October what? Five. Fifth. October 5th. Fifth. Fifth. Which so, is it actually good. the day of the open space purchase. Oh, it is. You could, uh, you excuse me. Vote. 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 So vote. you could resign effective the 6th then? I could. The only reason I'm not resigning sooner is because I'm running for... Board of Finance, and on my little blurb, which I don't really, never mind, but on my blurb, I say that I'm chair of the Conservation Commission, so I want it to be true as long as possible. Well, we'll have a vote on the 5th. Who's stepping, <laughs> who's stepping up to fill your shoes? That's coming. Well, no. it has to be a vote. It has to be, someone has I to know, nominate I mean, someone. Yeah, but somebody has to be willing to be nominated, yep. right? So, anyway. So, Marilyn, we could uh, have a vote on October 5th. Yes. Effective November, the first with meeting the, in November. With the first meeting in November. Yeah. So, you could stay election. with us. Yeah. You could stay with us officially until October 31st. Yes. Yeah. And, and like I said, whoever takes over, I would be more than happy to answer questions if something comes up. If the person's unfamiliar with how to run a meeting or something, and don't look at me. <laughs> it's not that. So, Mr. Wilson, you had things you wanted to bring up. I just wanted to ask when the uh, 
FOI educational workshop has been rescheduled. It for. hasn't been rescheduled yet, but it's probably going to be the, was it the, <clears throat> end, of 20, the end of September? Okay. Some people have to attend, and uh, the instructor wants to be, make sure that they're going to be there on the dates in question. Is this still going to be done as a Zoom, too? Uh, or, or, or a discussed on that. I don't know if we Zoom, but some kind of a, a remote. Well, it'll be, if it does. It not, was going to be available on YouTube. But this is going to be for yes, either employees or members of commissions. So, not open to the public. It's not open to the public. Me. It's a training. Um, and I, I highly recommend anyone to attend if, if you haven't had the training. Tom Hennick is giving the training. Have you been to any of his trainings before? It's, um, he's very good. And if you can attend in person, I recommend that as well because he's, it's much easier to ask questions in person and stuff. <clears throat> Did I hear that you're, you're thinking that it might be a Zoom? I don't think it's going to be a Zoom. I think it will be in attendance. It was going to be in Zoom. Oh, was it? Oh, yes. Okay. I wasn't Why are you here? I think it was going to be but both. It, if it, I think it was going to be in person, but also. It's going to be in person and in Zoom. Yeah. So. Available in Zoom. Um, you can't have a closed Zoom? Yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 You probably just have to register for it. Yeah. So that they would know to yeah. allow you into. Yeah. Right. So we, we had him for, gate, for the gateway, and he, he did, we were only Zoom. At, at that time, and he did a Zoom meeting for us. Mm -hmm. Who is this guy? Tom Hennick. He's on the um, the Freedom of Information Commission or Committee for the state of Connecticut. Okay. He's he's uh, very good. He knows the stuff backwards and forwards. You can ask him just about any question, and I've talked to him many times. Hmm. Um, and and he's answered lots of questions. And I know Linda uses him a lot when you have. Complicated question to yeah. ask about yeah. it. He's really good. Good to know. Yeah. Anybody have anything else they want to bring up? I have a question about the bridge that we're going to build at some point across Roaring, um, Roaring Brook. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, we surveyed the site and I understand some materials were spoken about, maybe some steel or some timber. Mm -hmm. I don't know if some of the material is available. I think I don't know. Did you pick? I think we picked up. You picked all that up. But yeah. We have additional. Some of it. Yeah. So uh, the only question to have there is whether we're going to make it out of wood or make it out of steel. Uh, the problem being is that at um, pressure treat it wasn't available for a while and it was extremely expensive. But I understand pressure treat has come <clears> down. A long ways. Considerably, yeah. Yes. Back to almost where it was before. So, hmm. might be able to look at doing it again with pressure treated. 20 foot 2 by 12? 24. 24 foot 2 by That's special order, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what we used on the bridge at uh, Rose Farm. Is this, does this property allow horseback riding? Yep. Would we be concerned about horses going no, over? Because they're, they, they can afford it. We'll say no horses. Okay. There was an interesting piece on the news tonight, NBC, about a horse somewhere in Connecticut walking through a bridge and fell through. They had to bring in a crane to Aww. lift it out. Was it was the horse unattended or a rider rode it across? I don't know. They didn't. They weren't clear on that. But the hind legs went mm -hmm. into the through the boards, Aww. and uh, it was. My my guess is it, uh, the rider took it over because most horses don't just say, "Oh, there's a bridge. I think yeah, I'll go over." Right. It. Yeah. They're more sensible than that. Which <laughs> leads me to uh, wonder whether or not we should have signage on some of these bridges so that. Uh, Definitely to make sure that the riders don't ask the horses to go over it. Yeah. It probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, it's probably a smart thing to do. Yeah. In a bridge not intended for. Well, and especially in today's litigious society, someone will say, well, you didn't have it horses posted, so I thought over. it was yeah, okay, so you're yeah, liable yeah. and they'll sue. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say definitely. 
Any bridges you don't want people riding over, post it. There's probably a standard signage too with horse, you know, a picture of a horse and then a big circle with a yeah. yellow yeah. line. I don't going think through. so. I mean, they have them for so, a while. So, yes, uh, we actually use some already, and uh, I think the land trust or so we have the small signs you can get made. Yeah. And uh, we have them done by. No, actually, excuse me, it was with the 8 Mile. Yeah, I think Pat has some of those. But, yeah. uh, you know, uh, whoever, you could have uh, Essex Design do those, too. Yeah. In fact, I think they did some designs already for those. They may already have the paperwork or the uh, the, the uh, mock-ups for them. So. Yeah. It's just a horse symbol with a rider with a slash. Right. right. No, the only reason I bring it up, I was think I, I was talking about a year ago to a woman down at uh, Ray of Light. She had her pony. It was a small miniature pony down, and she was having it graze and stuff. And and she told me that sometimes they would walk across that bridge. And uh, the bridge we built. Yeah. And um, you can get away with that with a miniature. You right. Yeah. Be... A mini is maybe three hundred pounds. Yeah. <laughs> a full grown horse. Is I think she said this was one eighty, two twenty, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't too concerned at the time, but uh, you could see someone making the mistake of yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. of taking a bigger horse over. They there. should shoot the owner and uh, save the horse. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'd have to euthanize the horse because you wouldn't get a crane down there. <laughs> well, I mean that actually happened in uh, many many years ago when I was working at Chatfield. Someone took a horse over yeah. a bridge, footbridge. Yeah. Obviously, footbridge was only three feet wide, and yeah. it fell through and, and broke two broke legs. legs and they yeah. had to euthanize it, and I think they <clears> went <throat> in with a backhoe or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, sad. so yeah, just a signage would be Such something. A waste. So sad. Yeah, I'm depressed. I know. <laughs> a common sense is no longer common. That's for sure. A, a responsible horse rider would look at a bridge, and if it wasn't really, really substantial, say, not a good idea. Right, exactly. So, for example, the eight-mile bridge in Petrel is designed for horses. Exactly. So. Yeah. And if we were to build a bridge at Roaring Brook, we would consider horse traffic? No, because, no. because no. 60 well, feet away, there's a ford. Yeah. They so. could go across it yeah. on their own, so you wouldn't need to. So that would require. So it might be a good idea in a situation like that to say, you know, Ford with an arrow. Like a, yeah, so maybe a sign. So people know which way to go to find the best way to get across. You don't think no horses would be enough? No, no. Well, no horses on the bridge, definitely. You, you have to be very specific about that because otherwise someone could say, well, it, you didn't say no horses yeah. and you could try to sue. Oh, but, but you mean give them a path. It would be helpful sort. if you had Tell them which way to go to the ford. Yeah, right. you know, the ford this way or that Equine way. Equine crossing this right. way. Right, equine <laughs> crossing there you go. that way. Now, a good trail horse would find its own fording spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not everyone has a really good trail horse, so <laughs> it would be helpful if you know. If I'm you know sure that horses are like people, you know. Some are smarter than others. Oh, definitely. I've had some really incredible ones. I used to get lost on a regular basis, and none of my companions knew it. I just would drop the reins and let the horse take over. <laughs> okay, anyone have anything else? No, I don't think so. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Tom, I need a second. Second. Thank you very much for coming. My Good flight to see is everybody. on the 15th, so I will not be here for River. Full page article on okay. the New York Times. Where are you going? Cancun. Really? Nice. Well, it'll be our first oh. full family gathering in two years. Oh, it's the whole family? Yeah, so hopefully nothing's going to happen with you. So, Jerusha, you're